Welcome to Unleashed with Eva Melton, where we unleash spiritual principles for victorious living. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Unleashed with Eva. Um, We're here today on 101.1 FM. I want to remind you that this episode and all episodes um, of this broadcast is sponsored by Clifford Melton of Keller Williams Realty. You can reach Clifford at cliffordmelton.com. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, Clifford would be the perfect realtor for you. I am so excited to be back today. On the line, I have Reverend Phyllis Clay Sparks of uh, St. Louis. Reverend Sparks, how are you today? Oh, I'm just fine. How you doing? I'm doing great. So happy to have you on. Uh, what's the weather like up there? I was just going to ask you that. <laughs> we have, it's foggy and rainy. Foggy and rainy. It's a little uh, foggy outside today. Well, cloudy outside today here in Birmingham, Alabama. But want you to introduce yourself to my listeners in your own way. Well, um, my journey has been uh, an exciting one, and uh, I, I'm excited about a new uh, program that I have ready to launch. Okay. I've written a couple books. Um, I founded uh, a spiritual center called the Soul Esteem Center uh, 20 years ago, but we we closed recently, about just almost a year and a half ago now, because of... Um, because the property was sold, and it was just time to move on to another another uh, chapter in life, I guess you'd say. Mm-hmm. And um, so I'm just uh, excited. I My background includes art. I uh, used to be a painter. I used to be an interior designer. Um, and uh, I'm a graduate of Washington University in St. Louis and the Ernest Holmes College School of Ministry in Orlando, Florida. And... Um, so I have been a minister for about 25 years, I guess. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so anyway, it's it's an exciting time. And like I say, you you have to be ready for change. Change is one of the things in life that is always going on. There's never a minute when you don't have change. And you have to be ready for that and willing to do it. You know? Wow. Wow. <laughs> and so if our listeners want to connect with you or find you online, what's the best way for them to find you? Uh, well, one way you can do it is with my email, which is philosophical. And that's my name first, T-H-Y-L-I-S-O-P-H-I-C-A-L at gmail.com. And um, I like that word, philosophical. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me too. And... Um, or you can my 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 cell number is three one four four five two four zero one four. So you can text me or or call. And um, I am operating these days as a I guess you would say a spiritual counselor, as well as um, teacher speaker. Uh, you know I'm doing that sort of thing now and um, and and writing and. The one one thing that I'm really excited about. Oh, I I wanted to tell you about my book. Okay. It's called Forgiveness. Yes. It is not what you think it is. <laughs> and um, you know there are a lot of books out there on forgiveness, a lot of material. Mm-hmm. But it is not what most people think it is. Right. So are you ready for me to tell you what I think it is? Yes. And so I wanted to talk about, you know, just a little bit forgiveness. You know, like there are so many books. Like if you look on Amazon, there's so many books. Um, But forgiveness is a topic that is always timely. It is always necessary because we go out into the day um, sometimes at home. We we can offend ourselves or offend somebody or we can go out every day, either be offended or find ourselves in in, in spaces where we've offended somebody. Um, And so I love your take on it. And so I want to hear from you now. What what is forgiveness, Phyllis? Well, to me, Eva, forgiveness is unplugging emotionally and mentally from a memory. Mm. Uh, whether it's a person or a situation or something you did yourself. Um, many people think that forgiveness is just saying, oh, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to put it in the past and I'm going to move on. And But every time they think about that situation or they think about that person or they think about what they did, uh, if there is an emotional charge 
on that thought or that memory, you haven't forgiven. You're still plugged into that memory. Mm. And you're taking it with you like a brick in your backpack, carrying it through your life, and it burdens you down. And it, it controls the other things you'll do and the other things you'll think and the judgments you make. So my book has two processes where you can, first of all, uncover what may be hiding in your, your subconscious that you haven't forgiven. And ways that you can, a meditation that you can do that will literally let you unplug mm. from that emotional charge you have on that memory. And so um, I've just seen wonderful results from that and the freedom you feel when you truly forgive, when you can recall that memory, because you're going to remember things. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to forget your brain holds onto those memories. But when you remember something or an incident or a situation and you can just think about it and learn from it rather than uh, get all upset about it, that's a real, really wonderful thing because it's the deny experience that most things in life, most experiences, whether good or bad, teach you something. And you can grow from that experience and you don't have to keep going back and being glued down and, and let that memory control what you do in the future. Mm. Wow. Wow. I um I have your book in front of me and I think it, it is the best book that I have read on uh, forgiveness and it really has been beneficial to me. Um one of the things that I that I saw when when I was reading that was a quote by Catherine Ponder that said um when you hold resentment toward another you are bound to that person or condition by an emotional link that is stronger than mm -hmm. steel. Forgiveness right. is the only way to dissolve that link and get free. That's right. Yeah. So um, in the book, I noticed, you know, the book is broken down for you guys. I know you're going to get it. Um, there's different steps in the process. I know in the beginning, one of the first things you ask is, you know, take time to think about who you need to forgive. And a lot of time what I find, Phyllis, is that. So many times if I go through a list, like I've started doing this, like on a consistent basis, what I would find is sometimes I'm sometimes holding on what people may think is, is the smaller offenses, but they also need to be released as well. That's right. They're like pebbles in your backpack. Some things are like bricks in your backpack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and some of those smaller things are like bricks, but they're still in the, your backpack. You're still carrying them around. And they're still burdening you down, and eventually your body pays for that. Yes. A lot of a lot of physical things we deal with, especially later, have to do with that backpack we're carrying around with us. It's burdened us. Yeah. So, you know, Eva, this this forgiveness process was evolved from my own personal experience. Mm. I had a very uh, terrible, threatening experience in my life with someone who was literally threatening my life. And um, I was working in a business at the time where you had to leave the door open and, you know, you didn't know what this crazy person was going to do. Wow. And I went to a spiritual counselor. This was a long time ago. I went to a spiritual, my spiritual counselor and the, he asked me a question and I thought, what's well, crazy? But it turned out to be one of the most important questions ever asked me. And he said, well, how is he serving you? What? How is he serving me? He's threatening my life and he's serving me? You know? So, but I, he, 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 so what I did, I got a, a paper, you know, some paper, like a journal. Mm -hmm. And I started writing down, and this is one of the tips in the book, one of the, you know, steps in the book. You know, start... You ask yourself that question. Bring a person to mind that you need to forgive and write their name on a paper and then list the ways in which you learn from that experience and they actually served you in some way. And it's very funny because at first you don't, you know, feel any result from that. But at some point you, go, you're, you can feel your heart begin to soften and you can say, wow, I did learn from this experience. Now, you haven't forgiven at that point. You haven't unplugged. Mm -hmm. But you're ready to. And that is a state of readiness, you know. And then you, you move into the other steps of the, of the process. But it's, um, 
that was such an amazing experience for me to have somebody look at me and say, well, how is this person that's treating you in such a way that's threatening your life? How are they serving you? Mm. Oh, my goodness. What a what an amazing uh, revelation for me. It is. And I just want to share that with, with other people so that they can start softening their hearts. And when you do that, when you soften your heart towards those emotional charges you have on memories, you can move on in your life. And you can start, you know, manifesting greater things. You can, uh, you know, just step out in greater self-worth. All kinds of uh, wonderful freedoms come from that. That's awesome. Now, one of the things I often think about, you know, when I think about forgiveness, like you said, is like having pebbles in your backpack. It's like having bricks in your backpack. But I also think about it from the standpoint of the weight. And, you know, if we truly radiate outward, um, those things begin to interfere with how we radiate outward into the world and thus impacts, you know, the things that we end up drawing to us. So, you guys, you've been listening to Unleashed with Eva Melton. I'm here today with Reverend Phyllis Clay Sparks of St. Louis. We're going to take a break and we'll catch you on the other side. with Eva Melton, you guys. So happy to be here with you on this Sunday. My guest today on the phone is Reverend Phyllis Clay Sparks in St. Louis. Phyllis, we're back. How are you again? I'm good. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Now, Phyllis, you have a website as well, right? Yes. My my website is Phyllis Clay Sparks, or Phyllis Sparks, um, dot com, or you can... Um, I, I wanted to tell you about a new video series yes. that I'm getting ready to launch. And it's called, one of the things on people's minds today, I think more than anything, is money and prosperity and expanding their life. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I have a program that I've used for years that I have seen miracles happen with people with, with respect to prosperity in their life. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I call this program Prosperosophy. So it's Prosper Prosperosophy Empowerment Program. And it's a 44-day program. That means that people who sign up to the program, and it's a big, it's, we're offering it, when we launch it, we're offering it at a very low, inexpensive price as an introductory price. And so if you would like to... Uh, know, you know, when this is going to launch and you'd like to, you know, give me your information so I can uh, let you know about it, um, you can look up philosophical, you know, at, uh, no, no, wait a minute. The temporary website is prosperosophy.com. So you can look it up there and, you know, let us know that you want to, you're interested and then you can um, also look up my website, Phyllis Clay Sparks, and uh, find information there. So um, this is an amazing program, and each day it will begin with three days of uh, introductory material to help people understand how you can unstick yourself from that hypnotic spell we get many people through of normalcy, you know, what you think is normal for you, normalcy. Most people will always go back to what's called a set point. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they'll, they'll go back to what they think is normal for them, and they could do so much better. They could be so much happier. They yes. could be so much freer. You know, all those things. They could, you know, have more money in their lives, a better flow of prosperity and opportunity and all of those things. And so this is really, prosperosophy is really a bridge into the land of unfolding abundance and abundance can come in many ways mm-hmm. abundance you know can refer to money of course but it can also refer to love it can also refer to freedom and possibilities and opportunities and all those things so this program uh, there will be an email delivered to 
the person who's signing up for the program every day. And there will be a statement for the day. I will be there saying a few words about it, saying the statement with the person. And um, then they can each day, you know, and I'll be there and I'll walk the entire journey with them. So they'll never be alone as they walk the journey of prosperosity. And, um, you know, I've just heard so many wonderful stories about, you know, how people have benefited from this program. So awesome. that's why that's why it's, you know, a 44-day program, because it, you cannot change your the mind you're used to and your state of normalcy that you're used to. You can't change that overnight. No, you can't. You've got <laughs> to do it over a period of about 40, you know, 40-some days. Yes. So, you know, I know people who've done the program over, you know, more than once just because they had such a good result. And so, you know, you want to be sure that you really lifted yourself up and uh, rose above that set point. And one of the other things I wanted to mention, Eva, Mm -hmm. is that uh, one of the things that the master teacher said was, judge not according to appearance. Mm. And so many people are so locked in to the appearance of something, or they're locked into their problem, mm -hmm. and they, they're being controlled by those things. Yes. And, you know, the idea is to step back, go to the mountaintop, and look upon the problem, because we have to handle our problems, right? That's right. You know, I mean, everybody gets problems in this human experience. So you've got to be able to look at, you know, deal with the top problem. But if you're absorbed by that problem, you can't see answers to the problem. You can't see solutions. So the idea is to learn to step back emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Step back and look up on the problem with detached interest. Mm. And that way, you you know, you're not judging according to appearance. You're able to look around the problem, over the problem, through the problem, and see possibilities of how you can handle the problem. Wow. Does that make sense? That makes sense. It's beautiful, like the way you say it, because a lot of times when you were, you know, talking or counseling uh, or guiding someone, you are you can see better um, and then as you are able to get them to kind of come out of the picture frame a little bit and step back and see, they they really don't understand what you're trying to say until you can get them to step back and see kind of emotionally, kind of what you just said about forgiveness, emotionally detach from yes. the problem so that they can see that there really is an answer. Yes. So in that way, these two programs, you know, are kind of linked together. That's but beautiful. The Prosperity program is... Uh, you know, really focused a lot on people. Um, I I have a a uh, part of the program that's called Money Man, mm -hmm. and it's about how Money Man sits on our shoulder and governs us mm -hmm. about our self worth and our ability to manifest money and all those things. Mm -hmm. And it's about making a friend of Money Man instead of letting him control you. That's you right. Know? That's right. That's right. <laughs> So it, it, um, it is a lot about, you know, money and focus, but, you know, it could be anything that, that you want more abundance of, you know, of in your life. Yes. And so everybody, and like say, go ahead, Phyllis. Like I say, it's about detaching and stepping back, whether it's forgiveness or whether it's, uh, you know, anything about abundance. Yes. So, everybody, I'm on phyllissparks.com right now, phyllissparks.com right now. And on the homepage, if you scroll further down, um, the 44-day empowerment program that she is speaking about um, is right here. And then you can visit the website. It links out to that website so you can find out more information. But if you would just go on her website and, and either email her, submit your information to her so that you can get on her mailing list so that when this program starts, you can be in it because I I am going to hopefully be one of the first people in this program because uh, Phil is one of the things that I noticed is, you know, no matter, no matter how spiritual we are, no matter how much we've learned and grown, we all need a God. Oh, there's yes. There's, and there's always more to learn. Yes. There's always more to expand into. You know, we can't we can't go into that egotistical place of thinking we know everything or we've already done that, you know, and uh have you noticed how many times you read a certain book or a paragraph or something over and over and over again, and each time you 
get something higher from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's it's like that. I mean, you know, we, we don't know everything about some subject. Right. We, we, open-minded about all that and well that's kind of like yesterday when you and i were talking um you know i grew up learned the 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 story of the wayward son in in sunday school heard it preached and it's not like now i see it in new meaning in new light of the things that i have been exposed to Mm -hmm. and so the beauty of that what did you learn from you're talking about the prodigal son right? i am i am Uh uh-huh and so just looking at those, um, you know, stepping back and looking at that father's, you know, representing God and the choices that we make. Um, but then also that repentance piece and, and what it looks like even coming back to God. Um, and then when you were talking yesterday, you, you kind of talked more about the other son. Um, yeah. And it's just kind of the over time how I've seen different that story through a different set of lens. Yeah, for those who are familiar, and most people are, uh, if, if they've done any Bible study at all, um, with the prodigal son's parable, uh, most people don't pay much attention to the son who stayed home. They just think of him as the good guy mm-hmm. who stayed home to tend to his father's business. But when the prodigal son comes back home and the father welcomes him with open arms and forgives him, the other son becomes angry. And he's resentful because he stayed home. And what are you doing? You're welcoming home this wayward, you know, person. Mm-hmm. And so the whole story really is about both perspectives. It's mm. about both sons. It's not about just the one. And so we can learn from from both both angles. And um, you know, he had a lot of forgiving to do. You know, at that point. <laughs> right. So yeah, it's it's. It's a, one of my favorite parables, I think, because it's really a lot deeper than it's a deep dive into, you know, unforgiveness. Wow. And what it, what it really is. Wow. Um, and so the book that we talked about today, I know you have more than one book. I, I know I have two of them. But the one, Forgiveness, It Is Not What You Think It Is. How can our listeners order that book? Well, it has been available at a very low price on uh, uh, Amazon. Um, I'm in the process of talking to the publisher about, um, because it's published on demand, and I have to renew that, so I'm not sure. I'm hopeful that there are some copies available. If someone can't get a copy, I might be able to, you know, send a copy. So, awesome. you know, I'm not sure how much, how much, uh, you know, how many are available at this point, but... You know, you can try it on Amazon, and uh, I think Barnes and Noble. I don't know if you Barnes and Noble in Birmingham or not. We do. Yeah, they they usually can get it too. So awesome. And um, uh, yeah, I I just but I I'm really excited about the launch of Crossroads here in Crossroads Environment Program. So keep an eye out for that, and uh, keep in touch with me. Anybody is welcome to keep in touch. Awesome. Well, we are so glad that we had you join us today, everybody. We were speaking with Reverend Phyllis Clay Sparks. Her website is phyllissparks.com, and you can go on there and find the book that we discussed today, as well as her 44-day empowerment program that will be launching soon. Phyllis, thank you so much for joining us. And everybody, I hope that you have a great week. Uh, You will catch us again on 101.1. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Unleash with Eva. I hope you were inspired, encouraged, and motivated to tackle a new week. For more information about the show, check out www.evamelton.com. 